G'day guys. In a previous video, we did get Moonlight Game Streaming set up and working using an old Intel Celeron N3150 Chromebook running Windows Tiny 10 and only 4 gig of DDR3 RAM as our host and just a budget Android phone as the client. But today I thought we would take a crack at getting Moonlight installed on our R36S and using it as the client. Be sure to check out the last video on how to set up and configure the Sunshine Game Streaming server. Once again, we are using the latest version of ArcOS. I have flashed a fresh image and set up Portmaster. If you don't know how to do that, I've done videos on that in the past as well, so be sure to check them out. As for Wi-Fi, I am just using a cheap little USB 2 Wi-Fi adapter. If you don't have one of them available, you could just tether it to your Android device, as I've done in previous videos as well. So with that out of the way, let's go to Options, Tools, and open Portmaster. So in Portmaster, we want to go down to All Ports, I'm going to go all the way down to M and we want to install Moonlight New. Press A again to install it. Once it's finished, press OK. And we'll close out of Portmaster. Let's go down to Exit. With that installed, we can go down to Ports and run Moonlight New. Before we can connect our R36S Moonlight to our host laptop, we do need to know the host laptop's IP address. Easiest way to do that is to go start, type in CMD, short for command, type in IPCONFIG, IP config, press enter, and it'll tell you under wireless LAN, it'll tell you the IPP4 address, which is what we need. So 192.168.1.205, it'll be different for you. If you're not using Wi-Fi and instead you're using Ethernet, it'll be under a different connection. So it might be under, I don't have a Ethernet adapter on here, but it would show up under the Ethernet instead of wireless LAN. So once we know that, we do want to keep the Sunshine game server running. So we'll go back to our R36S now and pair it. Back on our R36S, we want to go over to connect, go to IP address, we want to enter our IP address, which was one, whoops. We want to delete all the X's, it was one, dot 205 so 192.168.1205 press done and go pair it is telling us the pin we have to enter on our host which is 2887 again we have covered that in a previous video so we won't do it again but all you have to do is from the sunshine web portal click on pair at the top and enter the pin there once paired you do want to go across and click reload apps and it did find the three of them, Jump King, which is the one I added in a previous video, and Steam, Big Picture, and Desktop were both there by default. So just press B to go back, click on play. You wanna to go to Jump King. So that is the desktop of my Chromebook. Hopefully it does load Jump King. And there we go, black screen. I'm not too sure if it's coming across on camera, but one of the downsides of using the cheap $2 USB Wi-Fi adapter is it does have a fair bit of audio crackling just from the interference. There it is there. The A button does work. All the buttons do work. So there is sound on the device. As mentioned in the previous video, the audio is also playing through the host uh, laptop. But it does seem to be working perfectly. I've overshot that one a little bit. There is very minimal input lag, which is important. When I press the A button, it pretty much instantly crouches. But there is the subtle crackling sound, which could be annoying. So 
to close out of it, we should be able to press start, bring up the menu, go save and exit. And then we can quit out of the actual game itself, just as we would on a normal computer. And that brings us back to the ArcOS ports menu. Playing simple 2D games is pretty straightforward. I would be interested in trying some higher end 3D games, but I would need to use a bit more powerful host computer and not a low end Celeron Chromebook. I think that'll do it for today. If you have any questions or any games you want me to try on this, let me know down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.